Yo, what's good y'all? Perks of being in Korea once again. So yours truly couldn't resist and had to order the premium or two premium photos from the new Map of the Soul tour merch, which is available to everyone that has the membership, the, the army membership, and basically like no one else. So if you have that, you will have access to this. And if you live in Korea, you get it delivered like four days after you order it. Currently, there's a, only a couple of items that are actually still available. Everything else is like sold out. These were the premium photos were actually available for a very long time so they kept on getting restocked because those are the ones that tend to sell out the fastest obviously everything is like a hundred times cheaper if you buy it in korea so each one was about eight dollars and something like 65 cents or something like that and then plus shipping it's another like three dollars and ten cents i can't remember i'll put the total somewhere on the screen but i paid less than twenty dollars in total and i paid in us dollars because i don't have a card in korea so i couldn't pay in one and i used paypal if you're struggling with like using paypal switch to dollars and then you'll be able to also someone asked me the other day if they bought the membership now will they have all the perks like will the merch be available to them immediately generally it is available like right at the moment that you get it so anyway let me stop chit chatting and open this so I actually already got a sneak peek on Twitter because it was everywhere like everyone received their merch today but yeah so I'll pop up some of the merch items on the screen if y'all haven't seen it or if y'all want to see what they look like in real life The premium photos that I got were Jungkook and Taehyung, so <laughs> no surprises there. I mean, I always comment on this. I know you're like, Teddy, can you cut this faster so we can actually see what you bought? But boxes in Korea are so extra. Like, this is so unnecessary. Two things, which are the size of, hold on. I bought the one from the Love Yourself tour, um, Speak Yourself, the final. This is the Jungkook one. But look at how thin this is. And they put it in like such a big, so they put two in such a big box. Like, why, you know? Why? You could just put it in an envelope. But this is really cool, right? So it's about, let's see, 40 centimeters, a little less than that. Let's crack it open finally so I can pile up another box and wonder where I'm gonna throw this Ooh. <gasps> Ooh, they're cold oh you already know on my channel we like to do this okay no fingerprints. I suggest, by the way, if you think you're gonna be reselling these, don't take this off because it has the stamp here that it's official big hit merch. Either like peel this and stick it on the back of the actual thing, but maybe that's not such a good idea, but keep the plastic bag, don't throw it away. Premium photo and let's flip it around. Ooh, oh my God. <laughs> It's so much nicer seeing it in real life. Let's do the comparison actually before we see Jungkook's one. Yep, they're about the same size. Not about, but they are the same size as the previous ones, as the usual ones. I have Love Yourself Tour original one, the Taehyung one, that I got from Paris concert as well, but it's back home in Europe. Oh, the quality of these photos, you guys, like, I don't want to take it out from the socket. I know there's like a glare to it from my lights, but it is so, so good. Wait, let me, let me get up so I can show you better maybe. I don't know, but you can see like every little pore or lack thereof. Just, you can stare at this and analyze like every little detail, but it's really low. It's worth buying it, at least if you live in Korea, I don't know, the price is like pretty normal and standard. If you buy this in Europe or anywhere else, your shipping is gonna be like $20. Flip it around. <gasps> oh my God. Oh. I wish I got my original reaction without having seen the photos already on Twitter, but Oh, it's different when you see them in real. Oh, pfft, I didn't notice this. Oh my God, I do that as well. When I have too many earrings that I can't choose from, which are like literally the same as his, like they're all just round circular ones. I stack them up as well. <laughs> I just, I don't know where to put them. So I'm like, I want to wear all of them at once. So I put like two usually in one hole and then one to go through like he did here. <laughs> oh yeah, also really quick. The other day I went out to get some snacks. You know how there was like a bangtan bomb that was uploaded with like Jungkook watching something on TV and he was eating a snack. So I got this, like what he was eating, the madang sang. It was everywhere on Twitter. Let me tell you something. This is like the best thing ever. If you're gonna get these, by the way, get them from Daiso if you ever come to Korea. It's like a sort of, it's a store, it's like a dollar store, but everything is a little bit more than a dollar. <laughs> but snacks are really cheap there. Like, you can see the price here. 
is 2001, but the original price is supposed to be 3000. This is like caramelized, I don't even know, breadsticks or something? With Lord knows what, like nuts. It has a peanut buttery taste. So, so far, I've tried like a lot of things that Jungkook either eats, drinks, or like likes the smell of. Moral of the story, Jungkook has really good taste in everything. So <laughs> that's why every time he gets something or like people find that he drinks like a certain drink or whatever, uses something, I'm always like, I'm gonna get that because I know that chances are I'll probably really like it. That's more things that will go in my luggage that I probably won't be able to carry back home. Hello you guys. I'm like overflowing. I have to carry these three and then I also have, hold on, just the cup holders which I'm not squashing because I went through hell to get these. I don't know how they're gonna get into the luggage. This is like a birthday gift that I got from friends like in Europe and I don't want to throw it away because it's the nicest thing ever. This book thing. I don't know why I didn't give it to my mother to take it back home. And then I also got this. I don't know if I've actually shown this ever. Crazy cheap here. Like this was I think about 13,000 won which is about 13 euros or 13 dollars. And I was crying going through it because it's like the cutest little, oh I can't. So it's already a struggle with these, you already know. I'm gonna need to take a closer look at these because they're so gorgeous. Does anyone think it's kind of weird though that they're selling the merch already and there's no tour? Like, it feels weird, doesn't it? It feels kind of sad. By the way, check this out. My university sent us like this goodie bag with like pencils and a bookmarker and hoodies. And the hoodies are kind of big, but also like I'm not even complaining. I wear this shit. Like, what's up? Like this university, I'm so proud of it. Like I don't even go here properly. I haven't even gone inside. I've been one meter into the buildings and it was to pick up my ID card and that's it. But it's such a good uni. Frick Sky. You know like Seoul University, Korean University and Yonsei University. Forget about them. Honestly, just forget about them. That is the university you want to be at. Like it's great there. They treat us so well. And the organization, like the moment the lockdown happened, online courses were like snap it's there. Obviously they're not perfect. Obviously teachers are struggling with understanding the systems and everything, but it was just, it was there. While my university back home was just like struggling to even like, I don't even know, deal with the whole situation. They were like, what are we supposed to do? We're not used to like online classes. They like still don't know how to get the results to people from like the online exams. Well, here it's like, just write a paper, hand it in, you get it graded. That's your midterm exam. <gasps> Did you guys watch Bang Bang Kong? It was so good. It was always like during the day for me. So I would always get dressed to go out for lunch or like dinner sometimes. So I wouldn't watch the entire thing, but so many concerts I would watch just little clips of on YouTube and then to watch the full thing for free it was just, ah, it was so nice. And it was so good to reminisce on old songs. Like some songs like Dope, for example, I hadn't listened to in so long. It's been so long since I've listened to it. That was the very, very first song that I actually heard from BTS. And I think I listened to it so much that I got tired of it basically and I never came back to it That one DNA as well a lot of memories were brought back and second screen it What is it? There's like this term when you go on Twitter while you're watching like a show or a broadcast second screen Conversations, I think it's called I did like a research project on it It's like a really interesting thing that people do basically if there's like a show that's going on And then also people are on Twitter and they're discussing it and they're you know seeing other people's opinions or reactions It sort of forms like this community with people and it's so nice because everyone's watching the same thing like I know for Bam Bam Con the first day there was like about two three million people that were watching all at once can you imagine like a concert with that many people first of all second of all that's insane that that many people were online at the same time to watch the exact same thing. Is anyone gonna try for the sale for Europe? That's my question. Because on one hand, I wouldn't want people to not try and then the concert to happen if there is a sale, first of all. But then on the other side, like we gotta be realistic. Is Ticketmaster gonna offer the possibility for a refund, first of all? And second of all, will the concert even happen? Because when you don't have the certainty of like the dates, especially if you're traveling abroad, I pity anyone that bought tickets for the US and they live elsewhere. I think I'm gonna stop eating now because I'm making a mess on the floor. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Bye.